Hello everyone, I've discovered another random PS4 eBay lot. This one was a bit pricey, $300, but we've got 25 PlayStation 4 games in here that I'm thinking might be very good. So as always, we will read over the description first, which it's a little bit unfortunate, kind of a weird circumstance. It says, I'm running out of time to repay some loans, and I've decided as of February 9th to start selling off most of my games that aren't extremely valuable, so 20 plus dollars. But towards the bottom, it says high quality games, many 15 to 20 dollars a piece. No sports games are included. Nearly all are either AAA or quality indie games that go for more than the average cost of what we just picked these up for. Most are complete in box. Some might have generic cases. Some are factory sealed. There was six total, so you're selling them five a piece. And given the situation, I thought, all right, I'll, I'll buy all of them. Initially, I was like, eh, I don't want to spend 300 dollars. But then I was like, well, at least that'll help, right? So I think we could actually see something very interesting in this lot compared to the other random lots, which almost always have, again, games that typically are being sold at a wholesale value, not very um, desirable titles, desirable titles. But uh, this is still always a great way to get good box art cases, things like that. Uh, let me rotate it that way. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm already seeing, I think, two or three, a few games that I have, uh, that I don't have, actually. So, starting off, Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't have this. This is definitely somebody that regu uh, regularly was shopping at GameStop due to all the stickers. Which, yeah, they're a pain, but they're not too bad to take off. Uh, and they also put them on the back. At least they don't put them on the, the art anymore. And I think nowadays, actually, their stickers are quite easy to peel off, which... I don't know, let me try it right now. Mind you, normally I would uh, I would take the box art out first before I peel that off, but yeah, they come off very clean nowadays. I haven't shopped at GameStop in a very long time or bought used games from GameStop in a very long time, but their stickers used to be bad. The ones that you find on, you know, 7th generation games and below. Uh, so we've got Dragon Age Inquisition. Destiny 2, which I don't actually have because I fell out of, you know, online stuff and, uh, well, I played the first Destiny until I hit the soft level cap of, uh, 20, and then it goes, like, light level 21 and so on and so forth, but I never played Destiny 2. Darksiders 2, oh, and also Destiny 2 is, like, free to play now, uh, so I didn't need the physical copy, but, you know, I like that. Darksiders 2, uh, Death Inative Edition because they think they're clever. Yeah, these are all really, oh, these, <laughs> these are all really nicely kept games, uh, nicely stored and taken care of. It's a nice desk. Ugh. Battlefield 5, I believe I have a good example copy of this, but this one <laughs> actually looks a little, little cleaner than the one I have. Yeah, oh, Walking Dead Season 2. Did I play Season 2? I don't think I did. If you recall, I played Season 1 for um, the 30 Platinums in 30 Days video, where I played all three versions of that game uh, at the same time, PS3, Vita, and PS4, which was way harder than I thought that was going to be. Like, you'd think, oh, it's manageable because it's The Walking Dead, so any other game it'd be, like, impossible. But it, that wasn't, it didn't go nearly as fast as I thought it would. Uh, so here's our sealed copy of The Division 2, or at least one sealed copy, and this is lovely. Uh, online game, but not something that bothers me, given the circumstance of how I just acquired this copy. And Overwatch. Uh, I don't think I actually have Overwatch. In fact, for a lot of these online games, like For Honor, I don't have that either. Go figure, a lot of my collection is largely offline single player stuff or things that can be played offline. Uh, but For Honor we've got, and that's also, this game was a lot more popular than I thought it would be. Initially when this came out I was like, I don't think that's going to last that long. Another Destiny over here, Destiny, uh, The Collection, so we got Expansion 1, 2, The Taken King. Uh, is this all printed on disc, so that way, I, is that like uh, no external downloads or anything like that? PS Plus code. Oh, I think all the codes come packaged in. Which the one paper just dropped now, but... A sealed copy of Anthem. So, I mean, I have Anthem, and last time I value-checked these, they're 
going for nothing, of course. In fact, we now know that Anthem Next was canceled. So that's not going to be a thing, but we've got a very nice, pristine, brand new copy of the game that's sealed. Uh, let's sing country. So this is all, you know, this is funny too, because when we do the random lots, we get a lot of this stuff for PlayStation 2, uh, and also, and eh, not so much the original Xbox, but Wii, we get a lot of this stuff if we've got Wii games in a random lot. And... Well, we, know, we don't get any of this for PS4, but now we're starting to get it, obviously. But I don't think we're going to really be doing these videos for much longer, because it's getting kind of played out. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Revelations, this is one of our blank cases, but actually still really nice. It's just missing the box art. I believe this is, in fact, a uh, genuine PS4 case. Oh, but it's got a little minor... Little minor ding right there, if you can see. There it is. There it is. Ooh, Neo. I've been meaning to play this, and I don't... Ooh. Fingerprints. Who cares, though? Looks good. Looks pretty. I'm excited for that. And Need for Speed Payback, actually. That's also a game that I've been meaning to try. But I really want to play uh, Need for Speed... Uh, what's it called? Heat. But that game, for the longest time, was still 60 bucks, and I was unwilling to pay for it, and now it's finally a little bit cheaper. Uh, we've gotten Fallout 4 before. Pretty good copy. So I think I've got one or two of those now at this point. Uh, Terraria, although this one's a little beaten up. It's got a weird, extra, disgusting sticker on it. But it, it looks good, actually. The, the disc in this little uh, manual, which, I mean, this is rare to see a PlayStation 4 game with, well, it's not exactly a manual, but eh, you got controls. <laughs> I'm not sure how many how many PS4 games actually come with, like, at least this is a minimum. Not quite a manual, but, like, even a little control scheme with a few pages. That I would, would not know, but that's a rare, a rare sight. Uh, Dark Pictures, Man of Medan. I actually don't have this, and I was meaning to pick it up. A uh, little disappointing that it's not complete, but still nice to have it. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, I, <laughs> and no DLC, of course no DLC. Isn't this free to play too? Or, not free to play, but um, it's a monthly fee, so you can download it for free and then just start paying for it. But I'm guessing this is kind of like a jumpstart disc that comes with like a bunch of extra content. I'm guessing, oh look at that, this actually, just as I said, <laughs> Is there any PS4 games that have this? We found another one that does right away. Maybe I don't pay attention that much, but every PS4 game I've ever looked at almost never has a little booklet. That was like a, a fold booklet, if that makes sense. Dead Rising 2. <laughs> okay, interesting. I don't really know why they would do that. Is this common practice at GameStop? To use a... I, somebody can inform me. I know there's a few people that work at GameStop stores across the country that have definitely uh, ran into this channel and watched it a few times, so you can inform me if that's something that's that's common practice. Actually, we do have some loose discs here. Is this Borderlands 3? Yes. Loose disc. Don't have that, though. <laughs> and they also stuff... I'm guessing this was unused, because it's it was, like, jammed in there as if, like, hey, it comes with a... Uh, comes with this code and as this is actually labeled surge 2 that's also a little strange just cause with more okay is yeah is this again i will ask is this common practice to shove the booklets and manuals and codes with the desk that's so strange i i really haven't been to a gamestop in in a while it's been a long time well that's not true I go in to pick up like the occasional brand new game on like launch day if I didn't say order ahead from somewhere else. But that's like so in and out. I never check out the, the used games or anything like that. So other than that small experience, I don't really I don't really shop there anymore. War grooves. Never heard of this. This is probably what he was talking about in terms of the smaller indie games. Nice to have. I like the art. Never heard of it though. A copy of Battleborn. I don't think we've ever had, we've never not had a copy of Battleborn show up, 
if it was a lot that promised, well, I want to say current gen, that's not really true anymore, but at the time, I think we've only done two or three of these lots that had PS4 and X1 games, and I think Battleborn was there every time. Wolfenstein 2 New Colossus. I believe I just... There was a few games I bought not too long ago. Kind of like just all add to cart, add to cart, add to cart because they were so cheap. I think this was one of them. I'll have to double check that. Disney Infinity. Why is this so heavy? Oh my... <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, this... Okay, it has to be something that they do often. Which is so strange. Why don't they... Well, I mean, I understand that with used games do they not they keep most of the discs in these and then all the spare cases are just kind of propped up on the shelf bring the case up and then they'll fetch the disc for you do they not even bother to take the disc out and then put it into the case is that what's happening here because that's bizarre to be honest yeah this this is what was adding a lot of the weight it's like a poster or something all right here is a legit manual and i mean a full-on manual the thing is, I'm not even that much of a stickler if a game does or does not have a manual. I'll always buy a listing that has one over one that doesn't, but it's not a huge issue to me if it doesn't have a manual. But now I'm now I'm looking dumb for saying, oh, how many PS4 games have manuals? I just don't run into them. And I would just run into like three or four. Uh, the Walking Dead, A New Frontier. Definitely have not played this. Definitely not. But the disc looks pretty. Uh, here's, uh, yeah, the first season with uh, the 400 days or whatever, that small little extra bonus content. Little fun fact, in that 30 days, 30 Platinum 30 days video, a few of the games that I did, this included, had DLC, which the goal was Platinum Trophies, but it bothers me so much when you get a Platinum, but it says like 85% with the little Platinum icon. I need to see that 100. So I compromised a lot of my extra time in that video by finishing that to make sure it said 100% for the whole list of games. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, no uh, no DLC. I do have this. Oh, that was loose. And then, ooh, God of War 3 Remastered. Another game that I do have. Ooh, sticker on the disc, but I have this one as well. And then Shadow of War, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Another game that I think we've seen seen this before if I'm not mistaken yeah so nowadays I think I'm pretty much done with ps4 collecting or oh that's not true I'm satisfied with it if it's a game I really want then obviously I'll go buy it but I'm not going out of my way now to like really fill up the ps4 stuff at least after something like this uh, I'm running out of shelf space and I'm trying to collect for more legacy platforms because game prices nowadays are just getting out of control for some of that older stuff so I'm really starting to focus more of my efforts on that. And also, um, the random lot stuff, it's just, you know, we've done these plenty of times, so I think moving forward we might do uh, more pickup style videos where I'm actually showing you some of the classic games that I'm now buying to uh, bulk up on that uh, ever-growing collection that you've been following here for a while now at this point. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan. And that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.